But we start tonight with questions from parents right here in Hamilton County. They can now sign their children up for two of the options offered this fall at home and virtual school. But some say they don't have enough information to make an informed decision. Sam Luther shows us what parents are doing to try and clear up some of this confusion. This is what you'll find on the Hamilton County Schools website, plans and phases for return to school. The window to sign up is open, but are the options clear? Here's a glimpse into an online Q&A at Loftus Middle School today. And there's just a lot of anxiety, I feel like, um, in our world right now. Um, with and, and a lot of divisiveness and, and confusion. Um, and so hopefully I can clear up some of that. But for some parents, there are less answers than others. Not really, no. Um, there's been a lot of confusion. Morgan Ostra has two kids in the school system. Her three-year-old Vesper has medical and developmental issues and receives three different types of therapy. She's worried the choice she makes could affect those crucial services. Yeah, that's a big concern. You know, she's in like, pretty prime developmental years. Under a federal law called IDEA, those therapies are provided through the school system. In the checklist, the district has posted to help parents choose between in-person classes, HCS, at home, and virtual school. How the different options will affect services for students like Vesper aren't listed. That would be nice to have a universal standard across the board. We asked Kelly Weiss how the different options affected exceptional ed services. We are working to make sure that everything is accessible to those students. When we tried to clarify, district spokesperson Tim Hensley told us there's no cut and dry answer to that question. And as for some of the more specific questions, Weiss says as a parent herself, she's okay with not having all the answers. I don't want them deciding here on, you know, June 9th for what's going to happen on August 12th. That was Sam Luther reporting parents have until July 22nd to choose one of the online options. The third option available is in person classes and will follow a plan that changes depending on the number of active cases in the county. The first day of school is scheduled for August 12th.